This presentation is by Dr. Margaret Hunig uh, on the control of insulin secretion. Insulin secretion from the pancreatic beta cell proceeds the following way. When blood glucose increases after a meal, for instance, glucose is transported into the beta cell through the high-capacity glucose transporter called GLUT2. Inside the beta cell, glucose is then rapidly phosphorylated by glucokinase. This leads to the formation of glucose 6-phosphate, which can then undergo glycolysis, TCA cycle, and uh, go through the electron transport chain, leading to the formation of ATP, water, and CO2. The increase in ATP or better said, the change in the ATP-ADP ratio leads to a closure of so-called ATP-sensitive potassium channels. This channel is usually open in the unstimulated cell and potassium freely goes in and out of the beta cell. So when ATP increases and this channel closes, potassium ions accumulate inside the beta cell this leads to a depolarization of the plasma membrane and uh, this change in voltage leads to an opening of so-called voltage-dependent or voltage-gated calcium channels. Calcium comes into the beta cell and the calcium is needed to push the secretory granules which contain insulin to the plasma membrane they fuse with the plasma membrane and the content of the secretory granule is then released into the blood. To summarize um, insulin secretion then, we can say uh, glucose is transported into beta cells by the glucose transporter GLUT2 a high-capacity glucose transporter. Inside the beta cell, glucose is trapped through phosphorylation by glucokinase to glucose 6-phosphate. This is an irreversible step. Glucokinase is a high-capacity, low-affinity enzyme, and it is called the glucose sensor of beta cells because it's probably the most important enzyme in the regulation of insulin secretion. Glucokinase, uh, opposite uh, to hexokinase, is not inhibited by its product, glucose 6-phosphate. Insulin stimulates um, the gene expression and the activity of beta cell glucokinase. The metabolism of glucose leads to a change in the ATP-ADP ratio, so glucose needs to be metabolized in order for insulin secretion to occur. When insulin is secreted, um, it is secreted in a biophasic manner. The biophasicity comes from the fact that when glucose increases uh, in the beta cell, then um, the secretory granules that are closest to the plasma membrane release their insulin first, and then new um, secretory granules get recruited from the cell interior and also move to the plasma membrane to release their contents. So we have a first phase, which is from the secretory granules close to the plasma membrane, and a second phase, which is from the secretory granules, which are recruited from the cell interior. The major physiological stimulus of insulin secretion is glucose, but insulin can also be stimulated by amino acids, intestinal hormones, glucagon-like peptide 1, and acetylcholine and 
the hormone glucagon. Amino acids, acetylcholine, glucagon, and uh, the intestinal hormones will not stimulate insulin secretion if the glucose concentration is less than five millimoles per liter. So the glucose concentration in blood has to be normal before insulin secretion will be stimulated by these substances. There are also pharmacological insulin secretagogues, for instance, the alpha-adrenergic antagonists, beta-adrenergic agonists, and the sulfonylureas, which we use clinically in diabetic cats. A physiological inhibitor of insulin secretion is somatostatin, which is secreted from the delta cells of the islets of Langerhans, and it inhibits both glucagon uh, from the alpha cells and insulin from the beta cells. Pharmacological inhibitors are alpha-adrenergic agonists, beta-adrenergic antagonists, and thiocyte diuretics. A special thiocyte diuretic is thiazoxide, which is not used as a diuretic. It is used to treat uh, insulin-secreting tumors clinically. Um, insulin-secreting tumors are called insulinomas. The metabolism of insulin occurs through proteases, uh, which are located in the liver and in the kidney. So in summary, in the beta cells of the pancreatic islets of Langerhans, glucose is metabolized to glucose 6-phosphate by glucokinase. Glucokinase is also called the glucose sensor. Glucose needs to be metabolized in order to lead to the release of insulin, the intracellular signal for insulin secretion is an increase in the ATP-ADP ratio when glucose 6-phosphate is metabolized through glycolysis, TCA cycle, and electron transport chain. Insulin secretion is biphasic, with first phase release being associated with insulin granules near the plasma membrane and second phase with granules that are recruited from the interior of the cell. Important physiological secretagogues for insulin include glucose and some amino acids, uh, intestinal hormones like glucagon, like peptide 1, glucagon and acetylcholine can also lead to insulin secretion, but only when glucose in the blood is normal. Important physiological inhibitors of insulin secretion include somatostatin, alpha-adrenergic agonists, and uh, beta-adrenergic antagonists. Insulin is degraded by proteases, uh, which are in uh, the kidney and in the liver. <laughs>